Emailing is one of our primary methods of communication to the PAC and to DENS. So scoutbook.com has this emailing messaging already incorporated in. Now I do want to share a best practice uh, to uh, any leadership. Um, be careful on how much you email. My goal is to only do one a week. Sometimes that's hard uh, with there's uh, a camp out or Pinewood Derby or a lot of stuff going on, but I really try to uh, get the email. Um, first of all, I'll type an email once uh, and then I'll usually go through it two, three, maybe four or five times, trying to filter it down, get it shorter, get it short and sweet. Um, I will, uh, I'll try to kind of make uh, main topics of the email uh, in all caps. And sometimes if there's three or four things, I might even list off, here's the three or four things I'm gonna talk about, just to make sure that no one misses anything. So there's kind of a, a bit of an art to uh, getting an email. Uh, it's, a, it, it's an even greater art to get your email read, <laughs> so good luck on that. Uh, but um, I want to go through how to create a message. Uh, you can create a message to email select members from the pack, or you can auto-filter that list to just the den level. So let's look on that on Scoutbook. So once you log in, go to My Dashboard, and one of the first things you'll see below, uh, again, there's four options. Below Administration, there's Messages. Click on Send Messages. And I'm going to expand my screen a little bit since I've got the real estate for it. Uh, you'll see the leaders are in one column, the parents are in another column, uh, and, and our scouts don't have an email address yet. Uh, and so uh, I basically just go through and select who I want to send the email to. Now if I'm sending a pack email, I would select all, select all, and then I'm done. Uh, at the bottom, uh, you have a place to write a subject line uh, and messages. Uh, again, if you're sending a message, um, I typically try to say uh, topic one, uh, and then here's the detail, uh, topic two. Again, that's just kind of a little art on trying to catch people's eyes to see what the email is about in a high level. Uh, you can also include attachments. I really like this. If you're talking about a DIN meeting, uh, you can select the next things happening for your DIN. And so if I want to insert the next things happening for the bear den over the next month, uh, I can insert those details here. And here is uh, the date, uh, what it is, and where it's at. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. Uh, I can attach files. And I always try to BCC uh, because one way to really frustrate people really quick is when you don't BCC and a couple people reply all, uh, that can really uh, waste a lot of time. So uh, the other way to send messages is by going to the DIN level. So go into PAC 570, go to the DIN level, and then you'll see send message down here. And you'll see the same list of people, but you'll see some of these people are already auto-selected. It's already auto-selected all the Tiger DIN. That's the messaging feature in scalpic.com. Again, on emails, keep them short and sweet and try not to send them too often.